Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening in to another Gamer's Memory video from me. And I know it has been quite a while since the last one. But I'm finally able to get back on track with these. So, let me tell you about when I when I played Street Fighter for 3 on the Dreamcast. Like, I played it on the PlayStation, the Sega Saturn, and the Dreamcast. Those were the main ones I've played. And I've also played the PS the PSP version. Um, look, back in the day, my brother, my eldest brother, and my best friend, we played a lot of games together. Like, and a lot of the stories I'm going to talk about will involve them. Um, but this particular set of events is like there there was. Now, this was a common thing with us. We would play, uh, like, jump from game to game on, like, weekends that we were all together. Um, but when, there was one particular weekend where we played uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 on the Dreamcast, and we were playing a dramatic battle, like, because that was the only way all three of us could play together. Um, swapping off whoever uh, defeated the person that, that was by themselves. Would be the one to go solo. Uh, here's the thing though. I started off. By myself. And I remained. By myself throughout like. This, this one particular weekend. I remained by myself. As the, the lone fighter. In dramatic mode. Uh, um, in the dramatic versus mode. Now, granted, I only really played with characters that I was extremely good with, like a uh, guy. Um, sometimes I, I might have thrown Cody in there, uh, Ryu, Ken, <laughs> Guile, Charlie, um, Fei Long. Uh, I think I picked Sakura a couple of times. I probably picked Karin a couple of times. Um, Sagat, I think I picked a few times. <laughs> like I, I, I kind of generally stuck with characters I, I really knew very well. I knew a lot of their combos. I knew how to mix and match their attacks. So I, I stuck with those characters. I, I wasn't going to go with anybody like Zangief and get the shit beat out of me without laying much of a hand on anybody because <laughs> they would have fucking pounded the shit out of me with Zangief's slow ass. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I consistently kick their asses <laughs> like, and then, which was which was fun for me because it was like i like honestly individually they were not really a challenge for me anyway but putting the two of them together made it a fucking struggle i actually had to work to win which made the shit so much more fun for me on my end but I, I, you can't really tell them that if i tell <laughs> I, I don't want them exactly to know that that they weren't able to really keep up. Well, my best friend knew he couldn't keep up with me individually. He just liked playing against me. My brother, for a long time, we were pretty even, but I kind of pulled away from him in the long haul. Uh, <laughs> but having the two of them do like go against me, like the shit was awesome. Like, and I kind of wish more fighting games would do this, like, or they would go back and do this over, like, remaster Street Fighter for three put all the characters that they had in it from the PSP version and, and just throw it out there and give us the dramatic battle where we can fight each other like that. Or hell, even make it a two-on-two thing, which would be awesome as shit. Like, everybody fighting all it at once, which Marvel vs. Capcom did that on the Dreamcast one time. And that that was that. Like, everybody's on the, on the stage, we can fight all at the same time, and you had to use a damn... Uh, super meter in, in order to even do that and that would and that was because that was four players uh but just to have it as like a thing which you could do you can have pair-ups and everybody be on the screen fighting each other at the same time shit would be fucking it's amazing but getting back to the story um we we played i think like four or five hours before we stopped and that wasn't, it wasn't because it, because it got bored, because we had stuff that we had to go do. Um, like, but yeah, my wins, I think I left that, 
I think I think I left that play session. Maybe it wasn't four or five hours because I'm thinking about how many wins I had. It couldn't have been that damn long. Maybe it was like an hour or two. But um, I left that play session with like fifty wins, <laughs> close to fifty wins. It was somewhere in that in that ballpark. It was either just under or just above fifty wins, and they couldn't beat me once. Because that, for some reason, at that particular point in time, I was on this fucking unstoppable ass roll, and this shit was just fucking hilarious and fun. <laughs> like so, like and I could see the frustration in their faces because they would get so fucking close to beating me, but I somehow pulled the shit out and <laughs> fucking win. <laughs> uh, man, but, but like, but that was why I enjoyed it because there was a lot of challenge to it to have to take both of them on at the same time. That shit was damn near fucking impossible when I first started it, but then when I got used to how they both play, because when you get play, you play with somebody long enough, you get used to their their uh, their patterns and their tails, whether or not you can see them. Um, you get used to how they play, and you can adjust to it. So, I'm like that's why I was like ecstatic about that shit. I was like, damn, this would be so much fucking fun. <laughs> but um. I really want to see that type of thing come back because I enjoyed doing that with my brother and my best friend Deontay. Like, I want to see that come back and, and like be able to do something like that again. Like, especially now with the people that I can I can game with and and maybe even some of the people that follow my YouTube and my uh, Vidme channels. I would love to get to get to get to play with you guys and have this type of experience and be able to talk trash and back and forth with y'all and, and share that type of stuff with you. But, to not keep this video any longer than it is, thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. Until the next time, please enjoy your games. Peace out.